every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday another vlogmas video can you believe it I, you can't get more Christmassy than this it's actually snowing here in Cornwall can you believe it and as you can probably tell I'm not at my own stables yard uh, you probably recognize this backdrop because it is Tina's and it has been a very highly requested video to do another horse swap now honesty is the best policy so we are going to be truthful that actually we are filming our horse swap on different days so that we're able to film each other we get a day off from doing our horses which is yeah you've already done mine and that was quite nice and i've also got <laughs> and side note you weren't actually even involved in the filming you had a lovely purely non-horsey day off. proper non-horsey day yes but Ooh. this wasn't necessarily going to be your day was it because it's snowing we've gone woohoo it was and it wasn't. It was going to be my day, but then when the weather was like this, <laughs> it wasn't really. Because yeah. of the riding footage. But exactly. we've come up with a plan. We have. And actually, it's really nice starting this in the snow. Especially <laughs> as it is actually still November too, guys. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Only just. Only literally just. But yes, I'm also trying to... I've got a full-time job that I'm trying to do as well as doing all the video creation and content for you guys for vlogmas so it was easier to do it on two different days but i was <laughs> not expecting weather like this in cornwall like you said in november so there will be riding footage in it and my plan is to take banksy to a school and i was going to hack there because it's local do a bit of schooling then hack home but obviously as you can see the weather <laughs> like this i will not be going anywhere guys but we're going to carry on with this video there will still be riding footage in it we're just going to do that on another i was wondering why my pony is not kicking his door demanding his breakfast oh, no. <laughs> he's a proper vlogging pony he knows that we blab on and that oh he <laughs> says yeah i'm ready now yeah i'm ready now i'm not waiting any longer so without further ado let's get into this vlog but i would just like to say a huge thank you to equilite for sponsoring this video as you can see i have got the pumpkin beanie on at the moment and i'll be honest i've got the pumpkin beanie and the headband and i actually think pumpkin is my favorite color yeah i do absolutely love it but we'll talk more about that because they haven't only just got beanies and headbands guys they have got array of products that we will talk more about later in the video but there will also be a giveaway going live but make sure that you watch this video first before you head over to instagram and get yourself entered there's no light down here i know the lights are on guys but ironically last night that one packed in and i was like remember what, you need an electrician <laughs> yeah do, do you know what i think i just need a new bulb to be honest but i was gonna say to you last night remember your fully charged echo light <laughs> <laughs> it is fully charged i can see very nicely into the bin i don't actually we <laughs> what do you actually feed your horses because i haven't really done this for a while he has a scoop of chaff which is the middle one middle this is your scoop. No, I use the big round scoop. Sorry, it's normally in there, but it's not. Oh, this is It's one still the pink one, yeah. I feel like that it's pink though. Yeah, big round scoop of chaff. What, big like that? Thunderbrook's healthy herbal chaff. Yep, nice. <coughs> Holy chaff. Um, <laughs> <laughs> any of this? Yeah, any of that. He has a bit of that, yeah. That's just a bit of cool mix. This bit is morning something... and breakfast, isn't it? Yeah, mine are piggies. This is morning and evening, so I know for later because you're not going to be here later. Nala, go on, do it. I won't tell you off. <laughs> she was going to have the cat food then. Go on then, up up, up up. Go on oh. then, up up. She says, but you always tell me off for going up there. And a little bit of a ding. Oh yeah, a little bit of a ding. See, just a little bit of chaff. A little handful. Yeah, don't worry about that. That's sloppy to sloppy for when it's wet and cold. A bit like today. <laughs> Is that what I should be making them today? Think I'll sell that tonight. Balancer. So Banksy's on the calming blue chip. Yeah. 
has been since 2017. Um, two scoops of that. I have half in the bag, half out. It's like a nifty way of doing it. So well, fine. the last time that I fed your ponies, all there was was like a little slit that you could just see that you've done with your nail, pull it apart and then get it out. So <laughs> it's looking better than last time, guys. I'll give you that. Two of them. Ooh, yep. Two in the morning, two at night. So he has four. Ah, okay. Good job on me, isn't it? It is a good job, actually. <laughs> well, I will be on the phone to you otherwise. So. Like I was yesterday. Right. Bit of water. Bit of Swatch water. it around. Which I generally get from there, but to be fair, it's frozen over. So, so might the hose be. She might want this. Go on, do the nod again. He says, hurry up, Auntie Emily. Oh, <laughs> oh don't out me. My bowls need a bit of a clean. Don't worry. Auntie Emily's here, fancy. She'll sort you out later. <laughs> Looks like it's been rolling around in the mud, that one. Well, cool, put some elbow grease in, girl. Yeah, no, I'm not doing very well. I'm a bit cold. Your hands really are a bit frozen. Cold. You need some woof wear thermal gloves, love. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think of my feed bowls? <laughs> um, I mean, they weren't immaculate, but they were better than mine. Did you clean them out? No. <laughs> <laughs> that face. You to go. He says, I think I might like a rug oh, today, please. Oh, isn't he the easiest Shetland ever? Look at him. How tidy he is. So, Banksy has currently got that rug on. Does he need a thicker one because it's cold? Or is he Thankfully, happy? that one's quite toasty. Put your hand in, see what you think. I'd like to know. It I might know, warm your hands his, up too. He's in his stable at the minute though, isn't he? So. He is. It's 250. To be fair, I don't normally put anything hotter than that on him. Oh no, he's not. That's been cold the, it's cold the last two days, isn't it? Yeah? <laughs> Sorry, I've warming my hands up. <laughs> little little rug for dicks. He's got a new one. <laughs> in the stable on the end. On the left as you walk in, high up. He hasn't worn it yet. Left, 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 left. No, 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 no. He got a padded version of the same. Oh. Spoil little boy. Three foot six, guys. <laughs> Three foot six. Do you remember when the club, like when you used to go jumping? And it was like three foot. Yeah, two foot six. No, no two no, foot. Not, not, for you, not, for, not three foot six, Emily. That was only big girl brave pants like you. Two foot six and two foot nine was more my style. Oh, <laughs> it's a little well no, It's very cute. In He's not worn this yet. No. See, that one's got a bit of padding in it. Yeah. Leave that today, don't you, Dinkle? Even though he's from the uh, Isle of Shetland. I don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever put a rug on fucking six foot. Oh! Has he grown? <laughs> I'm sure his other one's three foot six. No, it is fine. Oh, look at you! <coughs> You're very good. Some horses don't like being touched when they're eating their food. Might need to make your belly straps a little bit longer. <laughs> Shock. Not the best lighting in here. No. Oh, not is it in out. <laughs> Hello. Hey, yeah, coming in. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> like a parrot. <laughs> Hello. Should I go be with oh, mum? It still feels quite bit. It's elasticated, isn't it? So yeah. Easy. Good boy, Dink. It's cute. It's so cute. I'm going to lose you out there, Mr. Bright Boy. A good all-rounder. <laughs> and his mane has stayed over to the right-hand side from his outing. Oh, yeah. from his plaid. He's still got one plat at the front in that I put in to try and keep it on the left. Nice. Uh, the right, not the left. It's not the world's best plat. Obviously, Emily didn't do that one. <laughs> but it's been in a couple of days. With a human hairband, can we just say, guys? Yeah, because his hair's so thick. <laughs> the other day probably <laughs> <laughs> one thing tina anytime that you go anywhere have you got a hairband <laughs> that is probably one of your most asked questions to me <laughs> most requested yes and i usually always have a supply on my wrist yeah you do 
till I nick it. Yeah. Welcome to Tina's Tack Room. Now, I'm just waiting for the ponies to finish. Apparently, she walks out with it, but I'm going to wait for them to finish so then they can finish it in their stables. Then you can go out and enjoy this snowbank. Yeah, you can. Boy. But, in her tack room. Now, <laughs> I came here about a week ago. Maybe not that. Mm, yeah. And it was not looking like this. This is looking very good for her, if I'm honest. I mean, still... I don't think you've got enough storage options, Tina. I think you need to have a little bit more. But it is looking an awful lot tidy. I wish I'd taken a picture, but she did send me a photo showing how much she had cleaned it up in preparation. For, oh, Nala, where are you off? <laughs> in preparation for this vlog to make sure that it didn't look an absolute bomb site. Like I'll be honest, it didn't look before. But no, she's got all her numbers up. I mean. We could probably do again through the wash to be fair Tina but they're hung up <laughs> ah, and this is what we will be talking a little bit more about later on in the vlog when I'm putting it to use and I'm actually in the saddle but yeah I just realized as well I'm probably not looking actually very Christmassy because it really was a little bit last minute of deciding to make this vlog but I think the snow is actually making up for it all. I can't believe how long it's been coming down now. It's so pretty, isn't it? So pretty and everything's white. I mean, it's not as white as you guys up in Scotland if you're watching this. I think you're probably about to get a whole load more, but even for us, just to get a dusting is very unusual. How are we doing, mate? Are we done? Oh, getting the last little crummies. Nice little crummies. You got out of schooling today, lucky you. <laughs> do you safety and put a head collar on, but I ain't risking your horses getting out. <laughs> <laughs> no, since putting them in that field, I do always put a head collar on. But Dinks, I'll be back for you, mate. I don't know. If, I, if they go in the other field, they don't have a head collar on. No, and I do that. He is toasty warm, isn't he? You've made me question it now. <laughs> Nala, Nala, come. Be careful, I think he's going to cahoon. Safety first, turn them to the gate, good girl. <laughs> oh, he's off. Oh, I thought he was going to get a buck skipping a fart. I think that might be coming. Oh my goodness, it is freezing. <sighs> Chilled actually. I don't know why I'm worried. He's like, I know where I'm going. Maybe to it. Come on, he's awake. Come on. Gotta go and see it. Everybody's <laughs> like, my mate's coming. Oh. That was not very excitable, Dinks. <laughs> the key thing of this vlog needed to be morning bugs she can't quite go high enough guys oh no, I can't hurt then you know what horses need when it's snowy on the ground Ooh. I'm like come on don't disappoint he's like I'm thinking about it <laughs> I'm thinking about it <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we need to be in there it's a bit dark over here Hey, Lejals, you've got some food, boys. Yeah. Oh, he's like, I was just about to roll, but seeing as you're popping that down. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you almost have a hoop to the face one too many times. <laughs> She says as she walks behind him. <laughs> oh, I can't get in the edge. Oh, Dinks, look at you. You look very, very cute. Thanks, you look wired. <laughs> I'm actually quite pleased I'm not riding him today. <laughs> She's wimped out, guys. Right, She's wimped out. Boys. Okay, that is my morning complete. I'll be honest. And I am at home as well. I do tend to muck out later on in the day. Get work done, usually get the horses ridden, 
before dark and then I worry about the stables for the next night and I know that Tina is very similar with me on that she doesn't muck out first thing in the morning either so it's no change here basically but it's looking nice and easy although we say nice and easy I'm used to straw Tina's obviously used to easy bed so I actually think it's what you're used to is what's the most easiest but we will be back later to mark them out and get them in for the night i think they might be if the weather continues coming in a little bit earlier than usual exactly although i don't think it is meant to be around all day so we'll just keep an eye obviously i haven't got the luxury that tina has of that her house is right there she can come in and out whenever she wants to uh, but i have to get back and do some work now so we'll catch up with you guys later on actually do you know what i will pop in now the riding footage we're going to get on a different day when it's probably going to look a whole load different and then we'll come back to me today this evening when i am bringing them in it's apologies it's going to be a bit disjointed but i don't want you guys to miss out on the riding footage and i know that you guys will want to see that so i hope you guys don't find it too disjointed or mind that it is on separate days but this is the reality of equestrianism in the depth well i wouldn't even say the depths of the winter but in winter I can't believe it's november and we've got snow we never get snow <laughs> finally the british weather has decided to pluck up buck up pluck pluck buck up buck up that's the word decided to buck up look there is actually blue sky there's a bit of sun there has been multiple times that i have said i'm going to be riding banksy and doing the riding part of this vlog but every time I go to plan to do it, when I've actually got the time to do it, it was absolutely tipping it down with rain and nobody wants to go well. I know, a bit fair with a rider, but it just makes it an awful lot harder to film and to do it and actually to enjoy it, isn't it, Banks? Because I want to enjoy riding you in this lovely weather. No, I don't carry things in my pockets, but I've got the boys in. I wish I had set up my camera, if I'm honest, because the little Shetland... Yeah, your little ears turned them. I can just see you through the door was running around the yard and I could not get him in a stable. Then when I did get him in a stable, I couldn't shut the door quick enough and he ran back out. He's had a right explore around everywhere before going in a stable. Whereas you were a very good boy. Let me catch you, which I did wonder because it is lunchtime. It's the middle of the day. I have booked the arena that is in hacking distance from both Tina and I. I just picked out all his feet and then I went to grab a brush to give him a little groom off. And now I've become stuck. I don't know where a brush is. Just need to find that. We'll give him a little groom off and then we will make our way to the school. I've booked it for an hour, but I don't think we'll probably use it for an hour. But I thought I might be running late. But anyways, let's show you. Oh no, I'll wait until I've got him tacked up and ready to go. And then I will show you the Ecoli LED rider vest. I really can't find a brush, guys. Where are all our brushes? Hmm. Maybe we will be going muddy. This is as much as I can find, isn't it? Yes. We've got the most off of your neck, haven't we? A little bit in the mane. I wish I could find something, but I can't find anything else fancy, can I? At least there was a hoof pick, because we're obviously hacking it to the school, so I'll just be wearing fluorescent brushing boots and then keep tacked up and get my boots on and my hat and we'll get on our merry way, won't we? Okay, so just before I do tack Banksy up, I wanted to very quickly talk about the LED rider vest from Equalite, which you could be winning in a giveaway that will be going live shortly after this vlog. So they have got some new colours out at the moment. I'm, they come in these really cute bags, so I wanted to leave a couple in there and then I've obviously got the one that I'm going to be wearing today out. So we'll pop that down for a second. So I just wanted to show you, so they are the bags that they arrive in. So the new colours that we have got is we have got the black. Looks like that. I think that looks really smart. And I actually think something like, well, I mean, they're all good for dog walking, but I feel like this one's a little bit more subtle for dog walking. If you don't want to be completely bright, but you've still got those fluorescent on there that you are going to be shining nice and bright, especially as we have got lights on there as well, which I will demonstrate on another one because they are rechargeable by USB, which this is one of the other new colors, which is the orange absolutely love that and I'm, this is the one I'm wearing today hence the reason this is the one that's got the battery pack in it so 
No, it hasn't. I bought that out separately. It came out separately because it was on charge. So it's just like a little battery pack, just like that. And then in a really discreet little pocket in here, there is a wire. Oh, can I get it out? Like so. So then we just connect them together like that as you've seen and then if you slot that up there's a little tab in here it might be easier to, i haven't actually done this with it being on me but no there we go just like that and then it slots down and then that button is underneath that which is getting me flashing and lit up it's got adjustable straps so i wear an extra small but it has got adjustable straps on either side it's got a very handy pocket here which Let's just demonstrate that. Phone slots in there very nicely, so that will be ideal for summer riding. We've also got the same on the other side, so you might want to carry some snacks or something like that. But they're just, I just feel like they're really nice and lightweight. They're not bulky, but they are still keeping you protected and being seen out on the road. It just fits really nicely, I like it. So the flashing lights, as I said, you've got a couple of different options. So that is on one. And then on the back you'll notice that they are red and then if i press it again i get flashy and again flashing red on the back too i was just checking my hair wasn't covering it then now i've done it in a bun so that is the led rider vest by award-winning may i say as well guys award-winning rider vest from equilite so oh sorry i didn't say that so you've got fast flashing and then you've got slower flashing. So you've got three different options, just like the headbands and the beanies, you've got three different settings of the lights as well. So then finally show you the final color, which is a lovely, lovely, lovely shade of green, actually. Green, I'm gonna be totally honest, is not always my color, but I actually really like this green. I don't feel it's, it sounds really silly, doesn't it? Not too greeny green, but yeah, that is the green, the orange, and as I say, the black as well they also do them in a pink and yellow but these are the new colors that have just launched if you are at london horse show this coming week because this vlog is coming live before that make sure that you go and visit their stand they will have these there on sale but only whilst stocks last because they're award-winning and they are very very popular so if you want to be getting your hands on one of these make sure that you go and check them out at the london horse show and of course get yourself entered into that giveaway well that's me ready i am ready to go schooling fancy you are not so let's get him tacked up and i'll meet you on the hack and we are on ooh, on board. <laughs> I did leave it go a little while, didn't I, before uh, actually getting the phone out. But he was a good boy. And I'll be honest, my hands haven't moved from the ends of the reins. Very chilled. So it is about a 10 minute hack to the school. So not far, but we have got a little stretch of road that we have got to go on. But obviously, regardless of that, would always still wear high vis because as a top tip that Tina shared with me, if you were to fall off, touch wood, so hopefully that doesn't happen along this right away, it would be so that then the air ambulance and emergency services are able to find you easier because you would stand out from being bright and reflective. So we're gonna mosey on to the school and I think we're meeting your mummy there. She's gonna meet us there just to do a little bit of filming for me. <laughs> First thing you clocked was yourself. Hey, wasn't it? But we've made it to the school, guys. <laughs> Is that you? Is that you? Say hi. Oh, hi, handsome. Oh, you're actually headbutting the mirror. That is not quite the idea. Good girl. A uh, good boy. <laughs> I'm used to girls, as you can tell. Yes, and there's Mr. Handsome again. Yes. Have a little walk around and then it's time to work, all right? Good boy. Good boy. Oh, this is a treat. Can we do horse swap once a week? <laughs> How's he feeling? He feels good. Ah, how was he hacking over? Good as well. Tired out from yesterday's antics. Yeah, and more tired for Lola tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, good. Keep going. He came in straight away and swapped himself in the mirror. 
admired himself or spooked at himself? I feel a bit of pressure to do a good job filming now. I feel a bit of pressure to do a good job filming now. Uh -huh. Well, Susie's done such a fantastic job recently. Ah. Ben, I feel pressure of riding him well. Could you be riding him so well recently? Aww. Again, love to say that was including yesterday. No, I'm being negative. He jumped well. He was just sharp. <laughs> Excited. Enthusiastic, that's the one. Exactly, very true. Good boy. It might, I think that it must just be your little legs because I think he looks bigger again today. <laughs> Good boy. What have I done to that top bit of mane? <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's getting to feel them again, isn't it? Like everyone rides with different buttons. Yeah. Yeah, knowing how soft or firm to be, isn't it? Like. Like you say, they're all so different. He looks like he's really concentrating though. Bless him. Am I assuming you have a plan in your head of what you're doing, or are you just enjoying the basics? Okay. Hey. I like how he does look very in the zone and focused on you. I love the red, the orange and the yellow M. It's very uncolour coordinated for you. <laughs> You're normally a bit more of a style queen than this. Oh, nice halt though. Nice halt. I just noticed when I'm in the mirror, I've got girth straps sticking out one side and not the other, and that drives me bonkers when I'm <laughs> Oh, this frothy chops. You can tell you make him work harder than I do. <laughs> Yeah, it is tasty. I mean, I would have groomed him a little bit more, but I could only find your little face brush. 
Oh, my grooming kit's in the lorry. Ah, <laughs> why? I was like, surely she's got more than this. I always keep it in the lorry just so I don't forget to take it anywhere and I get it out and put it back in. I was in. able to do your neck and all on my banks, but we went, well, we've got to go down some muddy lane, so it wasn't too That's fine, we won't put the legs on camera. <laughs> might be doing some fancy footwork in the neck. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what's cheeky about the counters. They look quite nice to me. He says, I know this is coming now, though. Excited. <laughs> he anticipated the counter coming, didn't he? He did. He said, Well, you take counter. And I think I also said a cheeky counter, and he went, I'll give you cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, He says it's that thing that Addie saw the other day in behind that hedge. She told me it's there. <laughs> that is pretty much the spot. <laughs> no, a bit further up, isn't it? The bridle way that I fell off in the horse swap vlog on Addie is just behind this hedge, guys. Of course, spooky aliens in there. I feel like he was butter wouldn't melt until I turned up. Oh, were you more relaxed? Do you feel pressure now I've turned up? <laughs> I think he's doing quite well. Yeah, he's going lovely. I'm conscious that I'm walking with the camera, so it's probably juddery as anything. I'm going to stay down this end. I sometimes think it's harder working in a big arena. It's quite windy too. Yeah, what is it Cam always says? A spook is to evade hard work. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's nice to spook something that's established. <laughs> <laughs> that's a compliment, Banks, by the way. Yes, it is. <laughs> He says, oh, I'm tired. The beauty when you hack to and from the school is that hacking here was our warm up and hacking home is our cool down. So hey. To do very much, but I have thoroughly enjoyed riding him today and I'll be honest it's actually quite nice to feel like and remember that you can ride because when you ride a baby it it can be difficult because you're like why are we just not getting this but it can actually, be a little bit demor demoralizing at times yeah um and I feel like I've had a few moments of that recently so thank you Banksy because that has just made me <laughs> enjoy schooling <laughs> hey and you feel even better when you watch the footage back and see how lovely it looked oh, I hope so yeah. yeah, good boy. I think when you're on a baby, you go so over analy analytical. Yeah.
because things do look messy because you're trying to teach them, aren't you? It's not that they know and you're trying to work together. You are trying to work together as a partnership, but you're also trying to teach them what you want. Yeah. And it is difficult. And sometimes you forget that when you're riding the same horse every day. Yeah. But I really enjoyed schooling you. You were feeling fabulous. <laughs> Sorry, got a little bit spooky in one corner. It's okay. I can <laughs> take that. <laughs> I'm used to like every corner, but no, that's good. So now we're going to cool off on our walk home, aren't we? Yeah, that's oh. lovely. I like this. I think he quite enjoyed it as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Looks very content. And I enjoyed watching you. You look beautiful together. Ah, thanks. Even with my little stumps, you make him look big. Yeah, I'm just, I'm actually, I'm shocked at your colour coordination skills, Em. Normally you're far more matchy-matchy. Well, oh, she's lost for words, guys. Well, for Christmas, didn't it? And obviously... Uh, extra, small extra small is the best is fitting the for you. Extra small is the best fitting for me. And I did go blue because I knew you had blue stirrups. Hey, oh, well done. Sorry. So I, I did think a little bit. There's some things that I just could not avoid. <laughs> and that is safety. Safety first. Safety, exactly. Safety and Santa. Yeah, I'm glad I left you at this track to go. He's <laughs> good as gold with trackers. Right, we'll carry on with this vlog when I am back over and sorting you out. And yeah, the next bit's got... <laughs> Oh no. You mean a lot better today for me, Banks, than you did <laughs> in the evening. <laughs> oh, I'm excited to watch this. <laughs> Actually, it was Dinks that was my problem today. He was going around the whole yard and I could not get him in a stable. <laughs> then when I did, I couldn't get the door shut. Hey, I always like, tell everybody my Shetland's an angel. He usually is an angel, but today he was just <laughs> in a cheeky, cheeky mood. <laughs> but yeah. Right, let's keep you moving, mister. Yeah. We are back this evening, ready to do the evening nighttime jobs. I'll be honest, as I said at the very beginning of this vlog, I was aiming to be back in daylight because I thought they might want to come in a little bit earlier than normal. But to be honest, the weather has actually been quite good this afternoon. All the snow has unfortunately gone, but it has just turned into just squelchy mud. Oh, hi Nala, you okay? You're right, you're here, you're my little helper, aren't you? But it is time to do the evening jobs, like you see, I haven't mucked out. Oh, Nala's helping me by eating some. Don't eat that! Nala! Don't! It's disgusting! It poo! Um, but, as we see, Banksy is a very good boy, very neat boy. Poo's all in one pile, except for one stranded one there. Don't know why, I wonder why that is. Maybe that was this morning whilst, I don't know, eating his breakfast? I'm not quite sure. But he is there at the gate, bless him, ready to come in. But I've obviously got to get his bedroom all set up, ready for him to come in. So he's just going to have to hang on for a few more minutes whilst I get that done. Tina has also had an easy bed delivery today. Now there is a lot of uh, bales on that pallet. She said, feel free if you want to move any, which I think, I'll be honest, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to put an extra couple in here because she said that she ran out and he would usually have a bit of a thicker bed so he can have a couple more in here tonight. I got waylaid at work, which is true reality and true my sort of work at the moment. It's just the way that it goes. But thankfully, Equilite, ooh, Equilite to the rescue, I won't look too directly at the camera. So when I'm moving those bales, this is going to be very handy and also filling up the hay nets now as you've already seen i have shown off the vest but they do a wide variety of products beanies headbands and at this time of year is exactly what you need so you can carry on with all your day-to-day -day duties as an equestrian but you don't need to be worrying about holding your phone out as a torch or yeah you've got both hands free to be able to do everything that you need to do as i will demonstrate and there is going to be a giveaway going live shortly after this video so don't run over there just yet do carry on and finish this vlog but then head over to instagram find the giveaway i will paste the link down below in the description and you are in a chance of winning a rider vest in color of your choice as well as a beanie or a headband again there is a whole array of colors that you can pick i've got the berry on at the moment which i felt was a little bit more christmasy a bit more vlogmasy but pumpkin i think is actually my firm favorite color that i had on at the very beginning of this vlog i have actually got that in the beanie and in the headband and i do i love it it's a real rich almost autumnal color but i really love it and they are like fleece lined can you see fleece lined so they are lovely and warm the pom-pom comes off the usb light which this all fully comes out and then you just plug it into either straight into your socket if you've got usb sockets like that or into a usb plug they charge really quickly i quite often have one in my car in my usb 
charger in there and it charges so quickly so then i know that i've got it for the next day but it does last an awful long time as well as you saw it has got three levels of brightness so you just tap through them and then it turns off but they are they're fantastic and honestly i don't know how you would survive in i mean unless you've got lights absolutely everywhere at your yard which i'll be honest i don't think many people do there's always bits that you've got to do like hay nets or go get straw or mucking out get to the muck heap and there it isn't well lit so one of these i do think is an equestrian must have and like i said you could be the lucky winner so head on over to instagram after this video to get yourself entered into that giveaway right enough blabbing banks is probably I don't want him jumping the hedge and going into the mucky for anything. So let's get his bedroom and Dinks's all ready for this evening. I've just gone to collect her equipment and she doesn't even clean out the thing that she said to use to muck it out. She told me she left it all clean. where the light has stopped working the feed bowls are now clean a dipper of can a little bit for dinks i think i always overfeed dinks i don't get to feed him very often for this then we've got something on my hands of it Okay. 
that wasn't quite how that was meant to go, but Banks went, as soon as he came out of that field, he thought, yep, I'm going to my stable, I had my dinner made, I'm going. And this is the wonders of Pecola. Oh, off you. Okay, so Tina usually comes out and gives Banksy a 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock kind of check, good night kisses. But I don't have, again, as I said earlier, the luxury that I am only 10 meters inside the house. So, thanks, I love you and all, but I don't think I'm gonna be wanting to get out of my house to come out into the cold, into the car, and come and check you. So, Tina usually gives him another, it really spun me out, the gate was like swinging, and I was like, oh, there's somebody there, but there's not anybody there. <laughs> Acted all scared. Um, thinking it's a ghost. So I will be giving him two hay nets now. Maybe she would usually give another one. So, <sighs> why have I suddenly gone creeped out? So I'm going to be giving him this one, and then I'll be back again. A little up and another. <laughs> Almost just took out the camera. Oh, don't need, well, I do need that on, but I don't need that on whilst I'm talking to you. But I am almost done. So the wheelbarrow just needs to be emptied, but I've got one last thing that will probably need to go into it. The boy has been very well treated. I think Emily is definitely a feeder, and I think I've stuffed those hay nets so full for you. But it's our blib hay village, isn't it? Tucked into all your dinner, so that's good. You've got your two bedding in there, but you have messed up my nice neat line that I did have. And then I'm just gonna finish off, which is something I would do, but Tina probably wouldn't do. So maybe this is where it's a little bit different is I'm just gonna sweep down a little bit of yard through to the end. Um, I think that's being with my mum, if I'm completely honest, because I would do that if I was at home. But I'm gonna be honest, I know Tina doesn't do this, but we're gonna do it anyway, it's not very much actually quite a nice straight line whereas mine's all got like loads of nooks and crannies at home i have done this little patch here already but then just gonna go down there And that is a wrap for the horse swap and today's vlogmas video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I feel like there was a few little moments, one being spooked by a ghost, then almost taking out the camera. And I'm very glad that Banksy was keen to get into a stable and not run off anywhere else. Can you imagine? Sorry, Tina, but your horse is loose. And yeah, I mean, I do hear quite often that he's loose around the yard and won't allow his mummy to catch him, but I didn't want that to happen on my watch today. But it was thankfully all okay. And they are all tapped out. Like I said, I am a feeder. You've got two massive great hay nets. I think I've given him a little bit too much, but never mind. You're all happy, aren't you? Yes, you look very, very content, as does Dink's. Gonna leave his rug on because the temperature has absolutely plummeted, hasn't it? So we're gonna leave your rug on. It's only about 50 grams, but it'll be nice for him just to have that little bit of extra layer over night. But like I say, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to give it a like, leave a comment down below, and of course hit that all important subscribe button if you don't already. That was very conveniently to hand. Don't forget to head over to Instagram now and get yourself entered into the giveaway and you could be winning some products from the fabulous team at Equalite. So a huge thank you to them for sponsoring this video and Tina's and making it like all a joint 
collaboration yeah all joint together but i hope that you enjoy tina's horse swap as well i'll be honest i've only literally seen a tiny little snippet i haven't seen much else so i'm very much looking forward to seeing how she got on with my ponies and i hope that you guys do too so make sure that you head on over to her channel and give that a watch also i just want to say thank you to tina because it is quite a trusting thing doing a horse swap and trusting your horses with somebody else i always do when it's my own i get a little bit nervous like one i want them to behave but also that you do things a little bit different to other people and you worry that the horses might not like it or anything like that but tina and i have obviously been friends for, well best friends for 10 years this year so i feel that we both know how we do things how what the horses are used to we kind of like we know each other's routine so that's how it works really well but still it's a trust worthy job and to be allowed to ride banksy and things like that so yeah i actually just want to give a little shout out to my bestie tina for trusting me with your boys but for now because we have done this on different days i need to get over and do my ponies they're gonna think that i've abandoned them especially when i go there and i'm smelling of dinks and banksy they're gonna think oh you've gone to them before you've come to us but we're gonna head over there and now and um, see them but make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so that you are notified of when the next vlogmas video is going live which will be in 48 hours like i've been saying all the way through vlogmas i hope that you are enjoying it and enjoying all the content but until the next video i will see you all then bye